Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate it. I may not always say what you want to hear, but I do tell you the truth. The truth hurts sometimes. So if you're not scared of the truth, this is the place for you. If you want rainbows and lollipops, this is not the place for you. Y'all, you know how everybody hated on Donald Trump when he was in office? No matter what he'd done, no matter what he said, it was always wrong. And to a certain extent, I was the same way. But I also gave him props when he deserved it. It don't matter who's in office. They're, they're, they're going to do some things that's wrong that you don't like. But they're also going to do some things that is right. And if you don't like the person, you'll never say that what they're doing is right. But all the people right now that is loving on uh, President Biden because he's giving away all this freebie stuff. He's giving you your unemployment. He's giving you an unemployment boost. He's giving you free daycare. He's giving you uh, stimulus checks. He's giving you, you name it. He's giving it to you. Money's coming out of his wazoo. But all the people that is loving him right now, I wonder how fast are they going to start hating on him now when they hear what he done. I know it's coming. They will start turning their back on him because of what he has said. President Biden said that if you are offered gainful employment and you do not take it, you will lose your unemployment boost and unemployment benefits. I think it's about time he wakes up. It's going to go back just the way it used to be. If you're offered a job and you don't take it, that employer will report that to unemployment. And guess what? No more unemployment for you. And that is a very good thing. Because you're on, you're on unemployment because you can't find a job. Or you say you can't find a job. There's millions of jobs out there. It's just not the one you want. Well, now if you're offered a job and you don't take it, for any reason at all, you will lose your benefits. I think it's about damn time. We got to put America back to work. It can't be freebies for the rest of our lives. So it's not freebies because the people that are working are paying for those freebies for you because you're too lazy to work. Y'all, in order for this to work, I understand there is some circumstances where you can't go back to work. If you're a mother, a single mother, and you got three kids, it wouldn't be feasible for you to go to work and pay daycare for three kids. It wouldn't be feasible, and I'm not stupid. I understand that. The same thing if you're a single father. The same thing applies. There's a lot of fathers out there that got full custody of their kids. I understand that. That's why I say they have to reopen all the schools. They have to reopen them. They need to stop all this homeschooling because kids are not getting the education they need. They're not forced every day to get in that computer and get their work done. I mean, people that's letting their kids stay home and letting them do the the learning online thing, they're cheating their kids out of a future because they are not getting the education that they need. I've seen it. So they need to open these schools up 100% and get rid of homeschooling. Kids need to be in school every day. They have to practice social distancing. They have to wear their mask. They have to wash their hands regularly they will be okay i mean take just think about this all the frontline workers that worked in the restaurants so we could eat through the thick of this whole pandemic all the people that worked in the hospitals through the thick of this pandemic all the people in the grocery stores the taxi cab companies 
All the people that kept working, they're still here, aren't they? You can still work and be safe. Don't use that as an excuse. Go to work. But President Biden has said now that you will lose your benefits if you don't go back to work when you're offered a job. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has said the same thing. We've got four states now that saying they're ending the unemployment boost. All of this is very good. It's one step, one huge step to getting back to normal. There's jobs out there. You just have to want them. You have to want to take responsibility for your own self and for your own family. President Biden is not your daddy. Camilla Harris is not your mama. It's time for you to get off of the couch and go back to work. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you're probably ticked off at me to the hilt. I'm telling the truth. You can get rainbows and butterflies from all these other people making these stimulus videos. I'm not doing that. I'm telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And I'm not making five videos a day telling you the same thing over and over, taking three, minutes, three or four minutes to get to your point. I'm not doing that. I'm telling you what you need to hear. Y'all, whether you hate me or not, that's up to you. I want you to know I love you, and I'm telling you this because I love you. You've got to look out for your future. If you wait until all the jobs are gobbled, gobbled up by the Mexicans coming over from Mexico illegally, it's your own fault if you can't find a job then. You may think, well, if I can't find a job then, I'll just get more unemployment. I certainly hope you don't. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all this garbage. Y'all, comment in the comments below. You can blast me out of the water if you want to. You're not hurting my feelings a bit. Talk as if you're talking to our lawmakers. Talk as if you're talking to the president, the vice president, the Federal Reserve, the senators, the congressmen, the governors, your local government, your local government is more powerful than you think they are. I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all this. Say a prayer for the, uh, for the world. Everybody needs Jesus Christ right now. Pray for people that's hurting through COVID. Pray for people hurting through financial hardships or any other affliction. Pray for our country, our leader. The whole world needs a healing. Jesus Christ is the only one that can do that. Until next time, I love you all. Ciao.